An ongoing debate is whether or not the flow of time is a stubborn illusion. Einstein's block universe theory, depicted by the schematic of many Earths and moons coursing through space-time, suggests that events are just there, individually, that there is no need to account for motion to connect the events, and that the past, present, future is a stubborn illusion. There are also several timeless theories of cosmology that predict much the same. Julian Barber's quantum gravity theory is the easiest to explain. He suggests that the universe is filled with nows, that each point in space-time can be metaphorically be thought of as a Polaroid containing information such as the brain's memories at that now moment. Scattering the Polaroids about does not change the sum total story of the universe, but there is no connection between them. These theories would expect that neuroscience will observe the flow of time between events to be an illusion. First, let's describe what is meant by the flow of time. There's an upper level component, the past, present, future, with a moving present. It moves like a river. Events disappear into the past. And there is a lower level component, the flow of events, such as occurring in this erupting volcano. It involves all sensory modalities, color, spatial, auditory. Years ago, there were hints from neuroscience that the upper level flow of time is an illusion. It has long been known that the brain exhibits perceptual completion to connect the experience of events or stimuli, to fill in the gaps. For example, if one spot is followed in time by another further away, they seem like separate dots, separate in time. But if close enough in distance and time, the brain will connect the two events by making the one spot appear to move back and forth. The gap is filled with the illusion of motion. And motion pictures depend on this illusion. You may recall another illusion when watching a wagon wheel in an old Western movie to roll forwards and then inexplicably roll backwards. This wagon wheel illusion occurs because the brain discreetly samples the external world approximately 13 times a second. At low rotation rates, the wheel is seen to move forward. But as the rotation increases to a critical value, sampling of the wheel is such that the wheel appears to move backwards. Moreover, the motion is continuous, not discrete. Therefore, we can think of all visual motion as an illusory percept painted onto each snapshot. Physical theories that insist that the flow of events is an illusion are confirmed in their conviction by the newest example of perceptual completion, the illusion of happening. When a series of visual stimuli or events are presented to an observer in which the interstimulus interval is anywhere from a half a second to over three seconds, he or she experiences a dynamic feeling. Look at this series of unrelated objects. When presented in sequence, something seems to happen. The gap between events is filled with an illusion. However, this percept weakens when intervals exceed three seconds. The illusion of happening occurs for temporal-only events, as seen here when this bread is quickly toasted. Even auditory stimuli evoke the percept that something is happening. Listen to the intermittent sounds of a bomb dropping. Happening fills the gap for the events of all sensory modalities. Let's turn now to the upper level of the flow of time, the past, present, future. Consider for a moment what it means to view the world with events or objects disappearing into the past. By definition, it means that an object experienced now must be the same as when experienced then. For example, we appear to be the same person now as we were a few moments ago or a few years ago. In neuroscience, this is called object persistence. When Einstein's best friend Besso died, he took consolation in the assumption that there is no past and present, no object persistence, and therefore Besso was still there, so to speak. But object persistence is commonly an illusion because of the principle of spatiotemporal priority. 
Factors relating to how and where an object has moved will trump factors relating to what the object looks like. This color phi phenomena is a good example. At brief interstimulus intervals, most observers see one spot moving from left to right, changing colors as it does. The brain chooses not to see five different spots at five locations coming on at five different times. A more outrageous example of the illusory potential of object persistence is a golf ball changing colors as it moves across the putting green. Even if it turns into a strawberry as it falls into the hole, the golfer still considers it to be the same ball, his ball, that for unexplained reasons changed drastically. The brain does not consider the possibility that the ball disappeared and was replaced by a strawberry. And as I said, the phenomena of past, present, future cannot exist without object persistence. It is an uglier universe without the flow of time, but it is the same universe with the same information. In summary, the results of these experiments are a consequence of the block universe theory and timeless theories of physics. Einstein was correct in stating, in essence, that the flow of time is a stubborn illusion. Thank you.